Welcome back. How did you do? Let's see if we've spotted similar things. I'm going to pick out a few things that I've noticed. So the main thing in this image is this boat. It's quite a small boat. I can't see any sails or engines. But there are some oars, aren't there? Three long ones here and here and here and a shorter one at the back, this white one. Perhaps that's for steering. What's this boat made out of? It looks maybe not very solid around here. Now there are a lot of people in the boat. It's quite difficult to see. I had a go at counting. I think maybe around 30. Are they men, women or children? Again, it's quite difficult to see. I spotted a couple of men here holding the oars. They look like they're wearing flat caps. Perhaps that means they're men. There are some other types of hats here as well. So down at the bottom, I spotted two figures here with different hats. Perhaps they're women. It's quite difficult to see. However, most people have their heads covered with something, either a hat or a scarf. I wonder if it means that that's cold. Also, everyone seems to be wearing dark coloured clothing, quite heavy clothing, with these white sleeveless padded jackets. I wonder if they're some kind of life jacket. I wonder if you've spotted anything else. Firstly, the type of document is a photograph, isn't it? But who's taken it and from where, I wonder? Could it be a boat or from land or from somewhere else? It's a black and white photograph too. Does that mean it's quite old? Are there other clues you spotted earlier that this is an old image? It's a bit blurry too. Is that because it's not a very advanced camera or was it taken from far away? The document code says copy one slash five, six, six. Does that mean it's a copy? And what do the numbers mean, I wonder? So we found lots of interesting details in this document, haven't we? You've probably come up with a few questions too. When historians investigate a document, they begin in the same way we have. Once they've gathered lots of evidence from the document, they start making suggestions about what the document tells us. We can do this too, working just as historians do. So now have a go at using the evidence you've collected to suggest some ideas about what this photograph shows and when and where it was taken. Click on part three when you're ready to move on again.